So it's a privilege to be here today to be joined uh, by community activists, by, by leaders in law enforcement, um, by Representative Pamela Herndon and State Senator Daniel Ivy Soto, the two sponsors of, of the Benny Hargrove Gun Safety Act. Uh, as everyone knows, this middle school was the site of, of a horrific crime, a tragedy, in the, in the loss of life of, of young Benny. And we are, all of us, I think, diminished by having another young person taken from us too soon. I grew up in Albuquerque and I grew up in a household that had a tradition of owning firearms. Um, as I continued in my career in law enforcement, I, I became and continue to be a gun owner myself. And while I recognize the right of Americans um, under the Second Amendment to keep and bear arms, I think it's also appropriate that we talk about responsibility. Because it isn't just about the rights that we have that are afforded under the Constitution, it's about the responsibility that we have as responsible gun owners to make sure that those weapons are kept from people who have diagnosed mental illness, from individuals who have felony records. And we fought very, very hard. It took several years for moms and sponsors and the individuals who um, are gathered here today to, pa to pass universal background checks. But this is just an extension of the same common sense gun safety legislation that will protect our communities and protect our children. If you are gonna own a gun, you have a responsibility to make sure that weapon is locked and secured. You have a responsibility to make sure that young people can't get access to it. And with the passage of the Benny Hargrove Gun Safety Act, you should understand that if you fail to do that, if you fail to secure those weapons, you will be subject to criminal liability. There is an ongoing investigation into the way in which the perpetrator of this crime gained access to this weapon. But what I can tell you right now is that the framework, the, the criminal laws that we have on the books make it far too difficult for our police and prosecutors to hold parents accountable and hold adults accountable when they fail to exercise that basic level of responsibility. So I'm proud to stand in support of this act. I will do everything in my power uh, to support the efforts of community activists, to provide testimony in front of the same committees that pushed back and said, we couldn't pass universal background checks. They didn't think we could get that done, and we did, and we're gonna get this passed as well.